if you are buying a big van, one of the things that you'd be thinking about is putting a shower in it. One of the downsides to a shower is that it takes up a lot of room, but we really needed to try and find a way to get a shower in the van without taking up too much space. I think we've cracked it. I think I would make one little small change, but other than that, it's working really well. So I'll quickly talk you through it. Very messy van. As you can see, we've got one, two, three somewhere, and four doggies and we wanted to try and make as much space for the uh, the centre galley as possible and obviously we wanted everything like a kitchen and what have you so we've got storage and uh, we've got a full double bed at the back so what we've done with this with the shower to try and push it back as much as we possibly could is we sort of created like a little mini wet room uh, which is just big enough for the toilet We've got a, a blue diamond, and you can see that we've got a blue diamond toilet, which uh, is really easy to empty. Uh, you don't have to use any chemical. Basically, it's a, it's a compost toilet. Easy to then pull out, pop on the floor, and then what we've got is we've got these magnets on the ceiling. So all we do is take the toilet out. curtain just stays inside the lip then you have a shower and you've got a lot more room at the top than you do at the bottom because you don't need as much room for your feet so you can see that lip there it's about four inches just to hold the shower curtain in and the shower curtain is just pretty standard stuff I think it was just from uh, B&Q and then these here you can get these off uh, I think just got off Amazon They're pretty pretty strong magnets you screw through there into whatever it is that you're using and then we've got like these crocodile clips that you snap onto there uh, and it's pretty good and the other thing as well is if you are using the toilet you can just pull the shower curtain out you can pop the, uh, the toilet into the back of the shower and then once you've sat there your feet can sit out in the front and then you've got a nice little private place to have a little wee wee or a poo poo. And what I've done is I've created a, an LVT wet room. So this is all boarded lightweight ply and then faced off with like L type uh, plastic. And then we've uh, used LVT. These are all like the click, the click style LVT. And then at the bottom, each, each one that was clicked, I've also uh, glued so underneath it's been triple glued and then glued along each seam up to about a meter and a half and that's held watertight so far and then we've just got a pretty standard shower mixer and then we've just got like these little button shaped holders which have just been glued and screwed on through through the back of here these just basically un unscrew off and glued and screwed on that makes a really good sort of shower head holder as well and that's pretty much it, it's just dead simple. I've got one uh, outlet there, one waist there. I could probably put another there because if it's not level the van, then it will hold in that corner. But what typically happens is once you've put everything back in, you start driving, it all just drains out. But I think ideally it would be nice to have another, another drain there. Shower done, the royal penis is now clean. And this is another little bit of a tip. When you've got the shower kind of wet and done, you can just clip it up all around the edges and it'll just hang nicely and it'll just drain off. I'm six foot. We're in a four before van and I had to be really careful with the base. So one of the reasons that it was handy to have a wet room, like a wet floor rather than a tray, is that a tray would have took it up a little bit higher and I ought to be able to stand up when I'm having a, having a shower. So with this design, it's literally right on the floor. So you've not lost any space. As you can see, there's like a, there's a lip there and you're not losing any space. So if there's anyone who's, if you're tall and you're looking for a shower that will not lose you any uh, head space, then again, it's pretty good to sort of set up that so uh, 
I'm going to name this the Stringer Shower. Um, it's going to become incredibly popular, especially on YouTube. One of the other additional uh, benefits to this is that it saves weight. So there's no framework for this. It's just one thin piece of lightweight ply. Uh, I think it's about 20, 20 mil. But what I've done is pocket screwed that to the ceiling, pocket screwed it to the floor. And it's been glued all the way around. You pull your thin glue. So on both sides of that, it's not really taking up any framework. It's quite lightweight. It's not taking up any any space. So if you know where I'm going with this is, if you are after a shower that's just really easy to assemble, it's not really costing much money. The LVT is probably your biggest biggest cost. Lightweight ply, especially if it's um, uh, backed, is a, is a little. There's a little bit of expense there. But all in all, it's quite a cheap way of doing a doing a shower and quite a, a fast way of doing a shower. You've got me so outside, had my head for weeks I could stay wrapped in this bed. Shirtless and sweaty, summer rain ready, pump through my veins. Another weekend gone, too fast, I promise one day this will last. The feeling of falling through mid-morning clouds And having a reason We can keep it on the down low We can take it real slow Love in the night glow And right when you come home We can dance in the kitchen Let the neighbors listen Oh, and the neck glow Tells me it's tomorrow Keep me up through plum-colored skies Bouncing off the mirror in your eyes In the reflection, I see it's your affection that cleared the rain Ooh. 